Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Happy end of 2021, guys. Today I'm going to be creating this really pretty New Year's Eve party inspired makeup look. I think this look will be so perfect for a New Year's Eve party. So if you guys want to see what I used and how I created this really pretty look, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's just jump into the video. All right, so we're jumping in with my skin like prepped and set and ready to go. So we're going to hop right into foundation. I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this foundation. Such a beautiful long wearing foundation. Looks so pretty on the skin and it covers everything. And with this foundation, a little goes such a long way. So I'm just going to use my beauty sponge and blend this out on the skin. I am using the shade Fair. But it just covers everything so flawlessly. Now that we have our nice flawless foundation on, let's add a little bit of concealer. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I'm using the shade number one. I'm just going to pop a little right on the inner corner and the top of the cheekbone. Now I'm going to bake using my Beauty Bakery Butter Not Bitter Setting Flour. And I'm just going to set my under eye. Making sure I don't get any creases under there. Alright, I need to throw on a little bit of a brow. Well, I say a little bit, but like I need to fill these brows and give them some shape. So I'm going to do that with my Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, and I will be right back. Okay, I have my brows on. I'm going to do my eyes instead of finishing off the skin, just because I don't want things to get messy and get down onto the skin. So, I'm going to jump into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Got something really messy on the front of this palette, and I don't even know what it is. Looks like maybe a lipstick or something. Wipe that off. Anyways, we're going to jump into this palette, and we're going to dip into this shade called Suede. It's a really light taupey color, and we're going to pop that in the crease. Um, but we're going to keep it kind of right in the crease. We're not going to smoke it out like I normally would with a crease shade, where I kind of just really heavy-handed go into the crease. This, we're going to keep it a little more confined to the crease. She was just a hair darker than I was thinking it was, which is okay. Now we're going to go into this nice light brown called Sandalwood. We're just going to lightly dip into that and sweep this over top. And this will soften up that harsh edge of that really kind of dark taupe color. So this is almost kind of opposite of what I normally do. Just because I wasn't expecting that taupe shade to be quite so in dark. thought it was going to be a little bit softer. Now if you cancel out too much of the taupe, you can always go back in and add just a little bit more in there. And I think I am going to do that. So I just want to have this nice, soft, neutrally taupey crease. About like that. Okay, now we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna go into this nice dark black called Black Truffle. And again, we're gonna go in really light handed and we're just gonna work that shade right on the outer like brow bone, right on the bottom of the outer brow bone, right at the kind of underside of the crease there. I'm just gonna lightly shade that in and then softly feather in to the crease. Then I'm going to drag it down towards the lash line a little bit. So I'm really focusing it pretty dark right under the tail of the brow and then softly feathering it in to the crease and then down towards the lash line as well. I'm just doing this very, very soft-handedly so that way I don't end up putting too much pigment down 
and making a big mess because working with black can be really, really messy. It can go south really fast. Okay, then we're gonna take a good fluffy blending brush and just kind of sweep over the edge of the black. We don't wanna blend it in too much, but just enough to soften its edges a little bit. How pretty is that? I love that, okay. So, now if at any point you get carried away and you feel like you've blended too much, you can do just like I had to do with the suede and go back in and add just a little extra Take your black brush and add just a little extra black right in over top to darken it some if you feel like you need to. You can always layer more color back in there. I think I wanna set that palette aside and I wanna go into the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette from ColourPop one last time before the holiday season is completely over because I want to use this shade, this really pretty purpley, shimmery shade called Misfit Toys. I used this shade in that frosted cranberry look I did, but I want to use it on its own. Although this up, up and away would be really pretty as well. But I think, let's try this. I want to see what it will look like. This will be like a really pretty silvery disco ball kind of look. Oh, that's so pretty. I've done a really, really dark New Year's Eve looks before, and this year I just wasn't wanting to go quite so dark, and I'll link those videos down below so you guys can go and check them out. But I just wasn't wanting to go quite so dark this year, but if I was, I think this would be absolutely pretty. It looks like a really pretty, like, dark purpley shimmer color. I haven't used that color yet. I think that's the only shimmer in this palette I haven't used, but I just don't want to go that dark. Maybe one day I will. So pretty. I love how that turned out. It has like a little bit of a pinky purpley look to it, but it's also kind of silvery. I don't know. Very, very pretty. So let's throw a little bit of North Pole on the inner corner. Yeah, might as well do it on the brow bone as well, right? Right? I haven't actually even thrown like a highlight specifically on my brow in a long time, but might as well. I think now I want to go ahead and finish off my skin and then we'll throw on lashes in a few minutes. I don't like putting my lashes on before I finish with all the powders and stuff. So I'm going to grab my Too Faced Born This Way Complexion Powder. I'm going to sweep away my excess of baking and set my skin down. I think I want to use my Morphe Glamour Bronzer in the shade Originator today. Feeling like doing something a little bit more, like, I don't know, popping. A little more intense for my bronzer today. I feel like for New Year's Eve, you just want to be like super snatched and contoured so we're going with a good strong a beautiful bronzer and i also haven't used this one in a while for highlight i'm going back into like my absolute fave of 2021 this is the pat mcgrath sublime highlight trio and i'm gonna mix the two lighter colored shades um we'll leave one is called like fine gold and the other one's called iridescent pink got these for Christmas in 2020 and I use them for like a majority of the year. These are were a big fave of mine throughout the year so don't feel like I can leave this year without without wearing these bad boys on my cheeks. So anyways how is everyone ringing in the new year? Comment down below and let me know. Every year we do a bunko party like that's just my family's tradition so we always get together and do a fun bunko party. I'm not really sure where we're doing it. I think we may be doing it at a family friend's house this year. I think the same place we did it last year. But I think that's the plan. And I feel like this year everything has just come so quickly. The end of the year is just approached so fast that we've all been really bad at like making plans ahead of time. All of a sudden we're like, um, we need to get things figured out. I love this highlight. It's so pretty. It just looks like 
it's so shimmery but like such a fine shimmer I don't know I just that's <clears throat> why I love it that's why I used it so much this year haven't been using it for a while because I've been using that soul one from the Rudolph collection and girl I missed it it's so good okay um yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing so yeah let me know what you guys are gonna be doing then I need to throw on a blush I almost said a highlight but no I need to throw on some blush and let's see I grabbed this one on my drawer and this one would be a good one it's a nice peachy blush this one is captivating from Tarte. It's one of the Amazonian clay blushes. So then pop that on my cheeks, right up on the cheekbones. And this time, because I want my face to look snatched, I'm just going to pop it right up on the high points of the cheekbones and then up towards the temples. I'm not going to do like my super blushy cheeked look that I love to do during the winter. So I'm keeping a little more true glam, if you will. I will throw it just a little on the end of the nose though because that's me and I can't not. Ooh, my skin looks great. Loving that. Okay, I need to spray my skin down because I think, think I'm done. I think I'm happy with it. I'm going to use my current fave, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. So I think all that's what are these guys? I, I don't know how long those have been sticking out, but whew, they were sticking out. Okay. Um, so I think all that's left is some lashes and a lip. I'm going to throw my lashes on off camera and then we'll come back and I will throw on a lip and we'll finish off this look together. All right, I got my lashes on. Let's go ahead and throw on a lip. I went through my drawer and I was like, what do I want to do? And I think I want to do something kind of nude, but also with a little bit of kind of a, a little rosy pink tint to it, like a nude pink. So I found this um, Kylie lip kit that I got last year at Ulta. It was one of their like mini winter sets. And this is in the shade Sweater Weather. I first saw that, is this not the cutest little lip kit you've ever seen. I love the like blush pink with the gold stars on it. So stinking cute. And this is like the most pretty color. It's just a beautiful rose color. So I thought that this would be really, really perfect for this look. So I'm going to quickly throw on the lip liner. That is so pretty. I love this color. Like just the lip liner alone is gorgeous. So now let's throw the cap on that. Let's go ahead and put the lipstick on. I believe this is a matte lipstick. Like a matte liquid lipstick, but let's see. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I love this lip color. Such a good holiday winter color. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this look down below. I think it turned out so pretty. I love the dark with that glitter on the lid. That shimmer is so pretty. I think it would even be pretty to add just a little extra, like, chunky silver or champagne color on there just to make that glitter really pop would be beautiful. I'm not going to quite that extra. Um... But yeah, I think this is so pretty. Let me know what you think about it down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.